And a packed plane, plane means a better chance that someone sitting near you is going to be sick, right? The CDC estimates each year roughly one in six Americans, that's 48 million people, get a severe cold or the flu. So here with some tips to keep you healthy through the holiday season is registered dietitian Abigail Darty. She's from the Soul of Health and we always appreciate you coming on, but I just asked you, do you have a cold? Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm just getting over one. I, so you're not following your own advice, huh? Not this time. There was some uh, holiday travel last weekend that <sighs> might have, I wasn't following the sleep rule. Oh, see, <laughs> the sleep is a big one, but it, you huge. also said pack healthy snacks. That's a big yes. one too. So don't rely on the airport or maybe a mini mart to help you get through the holiday season. Make sure you pack your own snacks because you never know what they're going to have. So make sure a combination of foods, lean proteins, healthy fats, and good carbohydrates. I love stuff like even those pa packaged oatmeals now mm. that they have. All you have to do is add hot water so you can take it on the plane with you. Mm. Snack bars, an apple and almonds, really easy to pack. You can throw it in your purse or in your carry-on. To get those nu nutrients. Yes. Good idea. And keep yourself really, you know, hydrated and, and going strong. That's actually one of the things I am good at. I drink a lot, a lot of water every day, but I'm like you. I don't always get the right amount of sleep. Well, the sleep thing is hard. Water, you definitely want to think about it like a shower for your insides. Oh. You know, just flushing out the toxins, flushing out that stuff. I'm drinking a lot of water right now. I bet you That's are. For sure. um, what about some common sense reminders? Sleep's one of those, right? Sleep is definitely one of them. Seven to nine hours if possible. I know that's not always possible, but make it maybe a goal. And uh, common sense stuff, washing your hands, sneezing into that elbow. <laughs> not into your hand. And not into your hand. And then if you do see somebody around you that might be sick, a family member, probably don't give them a kiss or a hug. Use safe practice tips when you are cooking. Mm. So clean those surfaces a lot. Uh, washing the stuff, don't cross contaminate. Kind of common sense, but it's sometimes when you're in a rush or you're stressed out, and with all the people gathering this time of year, that stuff just spreads. So it does. we can use all the tips we can get. We appreciate it. Thank you. And remember Thank the you. reason for the season, though. Have fun. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and happy Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, you too. Thank you. And